a moment ago on oh, your first sight no, of no, Carol no, no, this no. morning. Well, I just say I always get misty eyed when I see Carol. There we are, because it was rather misty behind her. There you go. In a nice way. <laughs> yes. You know. Is we get, a, we get it. it. Is, it, is so there a negative way of being misty eyed about Carol? No. <laughs> It's all nice. Isn't I it? am here, okay. chaps. Oh, oh we're yeah. talking about, yeah, you, I'm talking about yeah. you. Yeah, not to you. You wait your turn. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Now's a good time, Carol. Please. Now's a good time, Carol. Thank you, Naga, <laughs> and thank you, Mike. Big love right back. Good morning, everybody. It is quite a misty start for some of us. It's a murky one as well. We've got some rain pushing in from the southwest, moving northeastwards, but not everywhere is seeing this. Some of us are starting off on a sunny note. We've got weather fronts coming in from the west today, all connected to this area of low pressure, which is drifting northeastwards. And you can see from the isobars on it, it's going to be windy for the next few days. The wind not easing in the northwest until Sunday. Now, we also have all this cloud across Scotland and parts of northern England producing some spots of rain. That's yesterday's weather front. Today's weather front coming in from the southwest, bringing in some rain. Could be heavy in the southwest Wales and Northern Ireland on its leading edge, but generally it's going to be light as it pushes northeastwards and ahead of it, the cloud will continue to build. So the brighter skies will be the further east that you are. They went picking up two today across the Irish Sea and also the English Channel, with temperatures ranging from 12 to about 22 degrees. Pollen levels today worth noting if you're in eastern or southeastern England, they're high or very high. And in the next few days across England and Wales, they're going to be high or very high across the board. Scotland and Northern Ireland, you'll hang them to low or moderate levels of pollen. Now, through this evening and overnight, here is our weather front moving northwards and eastwards. There's a lot of cloud, mark, hist, hist, I should say, hill and mist and coastal fog associated with that. And that will be lingering in the southeast by the time we get to the morning. North of that, some clear skies, not a cold night, but the wind continuing to strengthen across the far northwest of Scotland. Now, tomorrow the wind will be very gusty, touching gale force at times across the far northwest, but tomorrow it's going to be a blustery day wherever you are. The dregs of our weather front move away, but it might just come back later in the day and clip parts of Kent and Sussex, bringing in more cloud. Temperatures 15 to about 23 degrees possibly 24 in Lincolnshire and also East Anglia, depending on how much cloud cover there is. Then on Saturday, it still is going to be windy across Northern Ireland and also Western Scotland. Here too, we'll have some showers merging to give some longer spells of rain. Some of those will be thundery as well. But as we come further south, we've got a ridge of high pressure trying to build in. So that's going to settle things down. Now, having said that, we could still catch the odd shower, but temperatures 14 to about 22 degrees. And then as we move on into Sunday, eventually that area of low pressure moves away. High pressure tries to build in a bit more and we've got weather fronts trying to topple around the top of it. So that means on Sunday for many of us it will be dry, but in the far north of the country it's not going to be as windy, but we might just see some spots of rain now and again. Now getting Charlie. Different all over the country, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's very changeable, very varied at the moment. But, you know, we need the rain. And we like the sun. Thanks, Carol. We'll see you later. You're welcome. Weather different in different places. Extraordinary news this morning. 7.49.